Hello everyone and welcome to another video about the Giro d'Italia here on the Cycling Dane channel. As ever, I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Kriko himself and Ewan. Today we saw an absolutely astonishing stage here on the sixth stage of the Giro d'Italia, but something very peculiar happened with Peter Siri, the Dakona Quickstep rider. What exactly happened? Well, stage six of the Giro d'Italia ended on the San Giacomo climb, but um, before we had the fireworks of the GC battle, uh, we had... a uh, car accident on the road i'm not talking about a metaphorical car crash i'm talking about peter seri getting shunted by the bike exchange car yes what happened here then the bike exchange team car goes up to talk to the red race organizers car of the Italia. so the passenger on the right is handing something over to the race car on the right hand side of the, of the image and in doing so uh, the driver must have lost some sense of where they were going or some sense of facial awareness and in doing so they shunted and hit peter seri of the Kern and quick step who ended up on the ground very very frustrated indeed this is a terrible comedy of errors from bike exchange this shouldn't happen in in the world tour i don't get how the the driver was driving without any awareness of uh, Peter Seri being there. Race drivers in the cars have a lot to think about. They have tactics, they have race radio, they have the television in, in the car and all these different things going on at the same time. But in that moment, Peter Seri was the victim of uh, this tragic incident. And hopefully he's okay. He managed to finish the stage at least. Has this happened before? And the most famous incident that springs to mind is probably the 2011 Johnny Hugeland crash with John and Antonio Fletcher. Well, we've seen riders collide with cars quite a few times in the past. Uh, you mentioned Johnny Hoogeland of uh, 2011, that big crash. But also in the 2015 Ronde van Vlaanderen, the Tour of Flanders, we saw two crashes involving cars. Uh, the Shimano neutral service car smacked into Jesse Sargent. And also Sebastian Chavanel collided with his own Francis Deja team car. It's almost laughable, th these incidents. You surely think that the bike riders are safe from getting hit by team cars, but obviously not. And I don't know what the UCI can do to stop this. There is some level of irony that uh, a race organizer's car distracted bike exchange. But still, whilst they're quarreling about bottle rules and super tucking, we still have road furniture unmarked and also cars affecting the racing. So that's basically it for this video. Let's hope no more riders <laughs> undergo one of these crashes. And we hope that Peter Siri is all right. He did get back up to the field. So hopefully it was only a minor scratches that he sustained. But anyways, thank you as always for watching and make sure to check out our Giro d'Italia coverage on the Cycling Dame. And it's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from you.